All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash, the Baron the Apostles, the Great Millstone, we're teaching us, we're saying the truth according to the Baron Moel, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation. Visit the Tether, Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shema Shai. Now I'm going to get to a Lord's willing at a final lesson, you know, on the fear of the Lord, you know, and I want to start off with Proverbs 14 and 26. It says, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, right? And what is the fear of Yahweh Shema Mashai, right? Uh, to fear the Lord is not to disobey his word, right? Uh, here in Ecclesiastes 2 and 15, it says, They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. So being obedient, right? That is what it means to fear Yah by Shema Shai, right? So, in the fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence. So, being obedient, following the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, following the ways of righteousness, there is confidence. There is uh, comfort, right? There's hope. There's an expectation to be protected, right? As we read here in Psalms. Uh, 34 and 7, the, the angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and deliver them, right? Knowing that Yahweh Shema Shai has sent his holy angels to encamp around about you to protect you and to deliver you out of all your, you know, troubles, out of all of your, uh, you know, uh, to, to, to take care of your uh, needs, right? Let's keep reading. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And that's what um, our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they should be eating this rule. They should be, uh, you know, tasting, you know, eating of this knowledge. And and they'll see that the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, is good. Blesses the man that trusteth in him. They're going to see how great it is to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai. They're going to see how great it is to be obedient. They're going to see how great it is to follow the ways of the Lord, you know, and strive, you know, and fight, you know, and do that which is good in his sight. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to him that fear. For there is no want to them that fear him, right? We we are going to be taken care of. It says the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing, right? Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. So that is what Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, has set up. You know, that was the purpose of the Lord, setting up his teachers, right? Starting with the apostles, the great millstone, and men on down to teach our people the fear of the Lord, to teach our people the benefits of, of being obedient, how to be obedient, right? Happy are we, O Israel, for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Shema Shai are made known unto us, right? This is a uh, Proverbs 14 and 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Confidence, con meaning with, fident, goes back to the word fidelity, which means faith. So the fear of the Lord equals strong faith. Being obedient comes with a sense of having strong faith, strong confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge, right? And we're going to need a refuge. We're going to need, you know, that confidence in the days that we're coming into. This is Sirach 2 and 15. Again, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. 
and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, right? So those, those who are obedient will continue to seek out to be obedient, right? And continue to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai. Because we do see a benefit in serving the Lord. We do see a benefit, you know, and fear is like an onto a motivator, right? We fear the Lord rejecting us. We fear Yahweh by Shema Shai taking away his Holy Spirit. We fear the judgments. That come with being disobedient, right? So those that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. Right? Knowing that, you know, the Lord is drawing nigh unto the humble. He's drawing nigh. Unto those who be of a humble and contrite spirit, those who are uh, trying their best, rehearsing the righteous acts of Yahweh by Shema Shai, doing all that they can to the best of their ability, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord, you know? And that is what we are saying. Everything is in the Lord's hands. Everything is up to Yahweh by Shema Shai. As long as I continue to stay obedient to the best of my ability, everything will be okay. And that is our confidence. That is our hope. You know, that is our faith. Saying we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. And the Heavenly Father's majesty, all that he is, is un. Uh, unestimable, right? So, so is his mercy. The mercy of the Lord is great. The mercy of Yahweh by Shema Shai is, uh, you know, is, is out of this world. This is a uh, Sirach 1 and 18. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, Right, a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish, both which are the gifts of the Most High, and it enlarges their rejoicing that love Him. Wisdom raineth down skill and knowledge and understanding, standing and exalted them to honor that hold her fast. So we are looking to be exalted unto honor, wisdom of Yahweh by Shema Shai, being obedient. The fear of the Lord is teaching us, you know, how to do those things. It's teaching us what pleases Yahweh by Shema Shai. And those who hold fast to her are going to be brought to honor, right? An everlasting kingdom, uh, immortality, right? This is um, Sirach uh, 23 and 27. It says, and they that remain, right? Those that remain, the, the, the remnant, right? Those, that, that's who's going to remain, the remnant of Yahweh by Shema Shai. That would no more stay upon Esau, Edom, in his ways, right? But we will stay upon the Holy One of Israel, we will lean upon the Lord. We will lean upon the and trust in Yahweh by Shema Shai and what He's saying, and, and believe that it is it, is beneficial for us, right? It says, "And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord." The remnant is going to realize to be obedient. It, it is the best thing that we can do. It is the right way to live. It's the right thing to do. And there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. It is great glory to follow the Lord and to, and to be received of him is long life. Right, That long life is going to be uh, immortality, uh, everlasting life. Right, and everyone is looking for something sweet, something, uh, something to make them feel good. But you no, know, it, it feels sweet. It feels good 
to uh, to follow the ways of Yah by Shema Oshai. So with that, you know, it's just a lesson on the fear of the Lord. Until next time, we say Shalom.